next kill count. For the past two months, we've been busy with Hannibal hangouts and exorcist exercises. What better way to bring it all together than a movie that kind of combines both their styles? The Exorcist 3. You know, 37 times. That's commendable. This threequel ignores the last movie and focuses on Lieutenant Kinderman, the cop from the first movie, now recast as a low angle George C. Scott. Is that true? What's the difference? He investigates murders done by the Gemini Killer, which is interesting for at least one reason. The Gemini Killer's been dead for 15 years. A second reason is that he's played by the voice of Chucky Brad Dorrit, giving an all-time performance. Did you know that you are talking to an artist? Yes, I did. The Exorcist 3 combines the franchise's trademark possession plot with a creepy police procedural to great effect. What are these? Father Dyer's entire blood supply, and not a drop of it spilled. It's a little slow, but George C. Scott will be sure to keep you awake. We're fine! You son of a bitch! There's also a fun depiction of heaven with Samuel L. Jackson, Abio, and one of the greatest jump scares in horror history. It happens when- You shut your mouth! Oh, right. I'll let you find out for yourself. Watch The Exorcist 3 this week. Oh, you are issuing a clear invitation to the dance. Then on Friday, That's a... wipe the stigmata from your eyes and tune in for the kill count, only on Dead Meat. It isn't perfect, but the overall effect is astonishing. Exorcist 3 can currently be watched on the pictured streaming platforms. Dead Meat always recommends you watch the movie for yourself before its kill count. It's the only way to have your own properly informed opinion. Kill counts are never meant to replace the experience of watching a film.